Uh, just saying congratulations and we keep it going. How many people that you didn't even know they had your number one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was mostly everybody that, that you know I've known or talked to before, so it was it was good. You know, to talk to some people that I haven't talked to in a while as well, you know, just catch up with them. It's a challenge now this is an every week not fourth down catch the game on the next <laughs> pass, obviously, but to produce like this every week. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh just keep keep building on what I just did. Uh you know, last week is over now, so I'm on to this next week uh, with our opponent in the Lions and, you know, putting my best foot forward, so going to practice and finding ways to get better so that I can, you know, be consistent and double double down on what I just did. You worked in these last few years. Is there any way to put into words how rewarding it was to make that, to have that game and then to make that game-winning catch with 20 seconds left? There's a lot of guys. Never, never find themselves in that position. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's special. And you, and you realize it for a moment because you work for so long and you never know when it's truly going to you know, happen for you or if it will happen or you know what could come from the work that you're putting in. But you just got to have faith and trust you know, that the work will show one day. And like I said, you know, my day was the other day. And uh, it felt good. And like I said, now it's just about continuing to work and continuing to build on that. Was that a good thing at all in the moment or was that more after, after the moment reflecting on it on that? Uh, after the moment. Uh, the next day, you know, just talking with the family and friends, you know, you know everybody kind of just preached on, you know, the work that I put in and how hard I work, and uh, it was good to see it, you know, come come to fruition for me. Was that a good time out? One of the things that helped you reset after the working season was going back home to Alabama and kind of rebalancing and rebounding yourself. Uh, what were your text messages? What were your messages from family and friends back home looking like after that game? Uh, you know, just just stating, you know, they've been new that I could do it. Um, you know, they've been waiting on it, and you know, they're, they're happy to see, you know, it happen for me. And keep going, don't stop. Uh, you know, this is a stepping stool, so keep building on it, and you know, they're expecting more. How crazy is it? You almost didn't get that opportunity because of the injury. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I was trying my best to not, not be out there. Um, and like I said, coach took me out for a play, and then once he called a timeout, I was like, I got to go in. Right. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, because if I can't they don't be take a timeout, you're not on the field. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. A blessing in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, nah, I'm great. I'm great now. <laughs> Did you see Tyler's quote? Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> did you How say, many people? No, nah, we, we, we all laughed about it on the plane after. Uh, I mean, everybody pretty much knew when it when it happened. And like I said, I tried. I just, I, I went blank for a second. Couldn't breathe. I was, <laughs> I was out of it. <laughs> McCarthy spoke a lot about, obviously, you guys uh, got to get this win at home to kind of stop this side at home. Just from your standpoint, what do you feel like you guys have to do to make that happen again? Uh, don't beat ourselves. I think we still haven't played our best football. Uh, we've left a lot out there on the field, and so I think uh, just continuing to challenge ourselves to be our, our best version of ourselves when we come Sunday, and then uh, I think we'll love the results, but we have to practice that way, and we have to go into the game with that mindset that, you know, we can't keep beating ourselves or putting ourselves in opportunities to, to get beat. So uh, I think just play our, play our standard of ball, and we'll be fine. Just a general background question. Like, when did you first pick up a football and fall in love with this sport? Uh, 11th grade of high school, picked it up, um, then fell in love with it. Uh, I say senior year, I started having fun with it and then uh, started getting offers and, you know, went to college to, to try to do both. And uh, that's really when I think I truly fell in love with it because I still had that baseball in me uh, when I was in. 11th grade, who pushed you to play football? Uh, my dad was a coach. Uh, he coached at Williamson, coached at Marcus Russell, Antonio Coleman, some of, some of those guys. So he was always pushing. And then my best friend, Bubba Thompson, he was a quarterback, but he also played baseball with me. And so uh, we would go hit and do baseball stuff. He's like, hey, come catch some balls for me. And so I started doing it and then eventually picked it up with, with my friends. And uh, the rest is history from there.